Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be playing with some new makeup. I have some things from BoxyCharm here I want to try. Some things from my um, Ulta haul I want to try. So let's give it a go. I have on my face just moisturizer and eye cream. And um, we're going to pin this hot mess. I tried to give it a curl. It'll probably go back in a ponytail when I get to work. Because we do, I think, get trucked today. So, um... I'm going to start by using my pretty filter, or yeah, no problem. This is the one I was trying to think of when I was talking about this one, but I think they were saying this one is more of a dupe or glow recipe. The Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum by Essence. This stuff is fantastic too, and it is cheaper than than this guy. So, um, but I've had this one for a while, and um, we're going to try to use some of it. Maybe, maybe. Maybe I may be wrong. I think I'm wrong. <laughs> yes, she's getting down to the bottom. So, oh, oh, I had to smack it around a little bit. I had to smack her around, but I got it. Let's take some of that. And I'm just using my beauty blender to kind of smooth that around. So, how's it going in your neck of the woods, guys? How's it going? Let me know down below. Get that around the nose. Maybe just a tad. We'll do just one teeny little drop more. I'm just going to dot that on each side of the nose there. Because my burst area is through here. Okay. I am using the little sponge that I got from, and you can see how squishy, um, Shop Miss A. Look how fat these things get, guys. They're fantastic sponges for like $1.55 or $1.88, whatever they are. I think they're $1.55. Okay, so I hauled this guy. Now, it was really light on me. And I've used the NYX Blur in, like, a video. So, I think this time I'm going to use the um, Pretty Fresh. And I'll tell you, I've used this once. Yep. I'll just show you. <laughs> I'll just show you. I'm actually going to squirt just a little out on my finger. Okay, you, you can see that there. You can see that. Let's see. I want to try it again because the first time I couldn't see anything on my skin. So I'm going to put put it on here on my finger so I know for sure I have, have it on my skin. Okay. Sponge. Where, where, where's it going? I mean, when it says tint, it's not even like a, can you guys see that? It's just, it's just gone. I mean, there's, <laughs> is it just me? Now the sponge is soaking up quite a bit of it. So I'm just going to start kind of patting here. It doesn't even look like I have anything on my skin. So is it... <laughs> and you guys know, I like a lightweight. Don't get me wrong. I'll, uh, that's my go-to. I want a lightweight, kind of, you know, sheer. I want to be able to see my skin. I don't want it to look cakey. But guys, that looks like I have absolutely nothing on my skin. What the heck? Is it meant to be like a foundation? It says tinted moisturizer. I'm going to have to go back and like look, see if there were some reviews left on that. Um, it may be going back to Ulta because I see absolutely nothing. <laughs> I mean, my skin looks good. Don't, I mean, 
I don't know. I'm going to keep, I'm going to play with it a couple more times. So this is the AOA Studio Pro Wear Foundation in the shade Buff. I'm going to take just a drop on my finger. And um, I'm going to use this for a little, a little brightening under the eye here since there's not much going on since this was too kind of too light i'm just going to and that might have been too much do i have anything of course not to wipe my fingers on okay yeah dear <laughs> all right let's let's see what this does definitely brightens but now it looks splotchy I'm going to um let my sponge a little bit That's better. It's, it's like there's nothing there. <laughs> there is nothing there. I'm going to take the Shauna B. Um, this is a, I think, a cream blush in rose. If I can get it open. And I did get a brush. What did I do with the... Uh, the brush I got for cream blushes. It was a little elf brush. No, that's not it. Guys, I just hauled it. I think it's hid down in here. There it is. I'm going to give this little guy a whirl. Let's um, dab into this and see before I put like powder bronzer on. Okay, cute. Yeah, you can definitely see. And I'm just dabbing straight in. I tap tap it on first yeah and kind of swirl I want to tell you guys how the universe works <laughs> no not really but the crazy things that happens you know how the universe it, it just works in crazy ways I was at work and if you guys have been with me for a long time you know both my mother and father passed away and I was at work talking to the lady there working with me about my dad and, and my mom. We, I was showing her pictures of my mom and my dad. Somehow we had got on, you know, looking like our parents. And I had showed her pictures of my mom and dad. And that, like, I had my mother's face shape, but I had my dad's eyes and nose. And, you know, we were just kind of looking at pictures. And a picture popped up of... Um, well, I had showed her a picture of my dad in a band. He was in a band when he was younger. This is the Juvia's Place um, Bronzed Duo in Medium. And I'm going to take uh, this shade down here. So that picture was in my, you know, in my roll of pictures. And um, I was like, yeah, my dad was in a band. And, um, you know, they sang country and like old rock back in the 80s. <laughs> in early was it still early 90s i can't remember i know definitely back in late 80s and um brooks and dunn generation you know what i'm saying brooks and dunn generation and um we were talking and just it wasn't 10 minutes after we had just got talking done talking about that um lady walked in the in the door i didn't recognize her didn't know her this is the angel eyes that came in boxy charm and I was chit-chatting her, helping her, you know, find what she was looking for. And um, she said, I know you. And I was like, and I'm sitting there thinking, I, I don't know who this is. I don't, I don't know who this is. And I'm terrible with names, but I'm really good at remembering, like, somebody's face. Like, I know their face. And, um, but I, I won't remember names. That's way more than I need. Okay. Let me wipe my fingertips off so I can blend this and we kept chit chat and she's like I know you from somewhere I know you and I said well where have you worked and you know she's like da 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 I was like no that's not it because she'd worked at the same place for a long time and I was like nope that's not it 
And uh, she said, who's your mom? Or no, she said, what, what, what's your name? And I said, well, my, my main name was, you know, this. And my married name is, you know, this. And she said, who's your mom? And when I said my mother's name, she said, you're Nancy and Gary's daughter. And I'm like, holy crap. Where does this lady, where does this lady know me from? And, um, she told me that she was one of the band members, one of the other band members daughter. And I just like, what, what? And I was like, I was just talking like, seriously, I was just talking about the band, the band and dad being in that band and the guys that he was in the band with. I was like, I would not even 10 minutes ago. This is just my Laura Geller. It's like, I was just talking about that. So we sat there, or we didn't sit there, you know, we stood there and kind of caught up and um, she was younger than me. So how she remembered me, I don't know. She's about 10 years younger than me because she said she was going to be, I think, 41 and I'm going to be 51. So as a little girl, she remembered me because I would have been in my late teens, like 15, 16. I've been in my late teens probably. Um, but she remembered me and she said, she said, I loved your mom and daddy to death. I'm going to cry. No, I'm not. I'm not going to. She said, I, I remember, I you know, because they lived right down the road from my Aunt Dovey in Dallas, who's my my second mom and daddy. So they just lived like in the same little housing development, little cul-de-sac as my Aunt Dovey and Uncle Dallas, because that's where the band would practice. We would go to Dovey and Dallas's and their, their garage at the time had been um the band room and we just kind of caught up and talked about our parents and everything and she's like i can't still can't believe that they're gone i'm like i can't either mom's been gone for five years my dad's been gone since 2007 so for a while and um i mean it was just we couldn't believe it i mean you know so we just chit chatted for a while and I told her, I said, that is most definitely my mother and father coming to let me know it's okay. That is the universe letting you know things are okay. It's going to, it's going to be okay. I'm just grabbing, since we're kind of on a, um, Ulta and, Shop Miss A. This is Essence Nude. And I, not as, yeah, Nude Space Lighter. Let's go with that because I have no idea what I'm doing with my eyes yet. I know what palette I'm using. We're using the one from BoxyCharm. This is just a really pretty glow. It's not like crazy, crazy. I guess if you build it up enough, it could be crazy, crazy, but it's just a really pretty glow. So there was that, that was like, I was just so like happy. After that, you know, it's it's just little ways the universe lets you know things are okay. Things are going to be okay, even when you think they're not, and you're at the worst you could be. It'll be okay. It's going to be okay. I am going to use the wonder. Uh, what is a sweet escape? And talking about sweet escapes, we booked our cruise for this year. I booked it last night. I'm so excited. Um. Cruise prices have gone up a lot. If you follow like cruises, you know, everything, every cruise industry industry across the board has pretty much up, uh, up their prices, up their gratuities, upped everything. Um, but it's still cheaper than like driving down to the beach, renting a hotel for a week and paying for all of our food for a week. And it's still cheaper. <laughs> um, I mean, for under... Two thousand dollars. Um, last year we went for under a thousand dollars, but that's when it had just kind of started back up. This was the shade vacation mode. There we go. And we're just gonna pat, 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 and sweep, sweep, sweep. Circle, circle, circle. <laughs> but yeah, that was just um, I, I just couldn't even believe she even remembered remembered me because, like I said, she would have been. Young, she would have been a little girl. 
And she said, I knew your voice. She said, I've, when I heard your voice, I was like, I know that voice. And she said, I, I knew. I was like, that's craziness. There's that little bald spot popping up again. I don't know why. I guess I'm just not getting primer over there or something good. But that was interesting. Very interesting evening. I called my Aunt Debbie this morning and I told her what happened. So, that's just, uh, you know, the universe giving you signs. Everything's going to be okay. Because there are truly days that I miss them. Truly. Okay. I'm going to grab my Morphe. You guys know which brush I'm going to next. Uh, um, I'm wearing a, um, it's a navy sweater with like peach and aqua. So I'm going to probably keep this kind of on the, um, nudie tone. So I'm going to go into window seat and then we're just going to hop over here to the darkest one. And then I may use this chunky. I don't know yet. I don't know yet, but we're going to, we're definitely going to try to do some pop of color on the lid. That's a little bit of kick up in those pans, but, um, nothing terrible. I'm going to stamp that right there and try to cover up that bald spot, but it's not really covering it up. And actually, that shade is not really showing up on that other shade much. It's not. I mean, it's just not showing up. I was hoping that would deepen that up a little bit. And it does have a little bit of a purple gray tone to it, it looks like. Okay, that's that's not working. It was this shade right here. These, I guess, are just too close in like mid-tone. It's just not. It's not doing anything. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over here to Day Trip. We're going to try that. If that doesn't work, Plan B, we're going into the Shopmas A Shadows um, singles that I bought. And we'll, I might do that anyway. Since this palette is very purpley. I, I mean, to me, it's just getting kind of muddy. But it might be because I've already put down the other color. Yeah, that's just not, that's just not doing it for me, guys. This palette's beautiful. I'm going to have to try it again. We'll have to try it again. But to me, that's just getting kind of... It's just getting muddy. I mean, I'm going to make it work. But... So, I'm going to put this palette to the side. And... I'm going to grab this one. This is the Shop Miss A Shadows that I hauled. I'm going to go into this... Um, deepest Cranberry here kind of shade. Let's see if I can get some depth with that. Oh, I think that's going to be too close to what's already in there. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's not. This eye's flicked up more than the eye. I can fix that. No big deal. Okay, so that's just not even um working for me today so i'm actually going to go into one of these shimmers and let's let's just go ahead and now that's pretty pop that on the lid so i said we're going to save it we're going to save it <laughs> it's not going to be that bad um, tiny little bit of fallout. And I'm just running my finger in there. But yes, we booked our cruise. This is a six-day cruise, so this will be our first 
well, it's only our third cruise period, but it's um, our first six day cruise. So excited and it's in May. So actually it's not that far away where I'm booking out like that. The first cruise we ever did, um, we booked it and it was like a year away and I'm like, Oh my God, we got to wait all year. Uh, what? All right. We're going to try to make these match a little bit. I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. See how that one's kind of flicking up? I just wanted to make this side kind of match. I'm just using tissue paper. <laughs> It can be saved, guys. It can be saved. If you don't think it can be saved, just go get a makeup wipe and just then completely take take it off and start over from scratch. But that's that's okay. That's not not terrible bad. I do want to go back into this guy and take this chunky chunky one right here. It's got like a pink, white pink shift, and kind of go over just the first kind of third of that and I'll probably put glitter all over my face throughout the day I'm sure it probably will that's very pretty that one's very pretty got a little chunkiness up there so what we do there let's take that little little firm brush and I'm just gonna blend Flick away a little bit of that glitter that's just a little too hot. Just flick it away. See how it flicked away? So now it's not, not so much. All right. Fall out. Flicking that away as well. I don't know, guys. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I don't know how I'm feeling about it, but... She is what she is because I am almost done. Um, you guys know I don't normally put like highlight up toward um my brow bone. I usually just leave it, but today let's let's since you know this look is already kind of not making me happy. I'm gonna go into first class. That was a lot. Just very lightly dust a little bit up on that brow. Just a little. Just brighten it up a little bit. I'm like, girl, done muddied the waters. Be all right. Um, mascara. Did I have a new mascara? Didn't I have a new one? And I just crammed it down in here. I can't even remember. Um, well, we're grabbing this one. This is one of my absolute drugstore favorites. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Love this one. And she has not seen any love in a while, so we'll use this one. Felt like it was like clumping them up too much. Might be time for a new one. And I always, always touch that corner. Always. I'll show you how to fix that. Oh, I didn't do any eyeliner. That's fine. We can do eyeliner once this is dry. No biggie. Okay, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, lippies, we got that lippy in. That was the persona in Manifest. I don't think it's going to match it's more of a red but I'm gonna put it on for right now because it's very moisturizing so we will put that on right now but that's pretty much it guys that is pretty much it let me know 
what you thought about this. I mean, it just, it's like it just disappears to, to nothing. I mean, it's like it disappears to nothing. Do you see any anything there other than a shine from it being wet? I don't understand. The, um, I don't understand. There, there's nothing there. So this guy, thank God I haven't thrown the trash away for the box. It's probably going to go back. Um, something else that's probably going to go back is the Elf, um, that exfol that exfoliating peely thing um you can feel things coming off your face but i th think when i use it it's like rashing me up a little bit because after i've washed my face i see like a red little not necessarily bumps they almost look like welts um right through here and it goes away after like a day or two Cause I don't do it every day. I do it. I've done it like every third day and it's clearing up. That's a pimple, but I don't know if you can still see like right in here. It's kind of rashy looking like right there. Not so bad on this side, but that's going to go back to, um, I'll just have to find a day when I can get down to Hickory to return it or Morganton. Cause I don't have an ult in my area. I'll have to drive to the next town over one or the other. But yeah, so I'm seriously thinking about this one's going back and the um, the e.l.f. exfoliating peel. My skin just does not, it does not like that. It doesn't like that one. <laughs> Trying to find a lippy that will kind of go out of what's just sitting here. But that is it for this one, guys. That is new makeup that we have tried, new makeup that has failed. I want to give this one another shot. I just think that was user error and the pit colors I was picking but I was just going from matte to matte to matte so maybe I just need to try something a little different than my usual technique but um I mean I can deal with that look it's not terrible um to me it's a little it's a little muddy it's a little muddy all right guys I'll see you on the next one don't forget the giveaway um it'll be listed down below it'll be thrown up there somewhere throughout the video but I'll leave it linked down below as well I'll see you on the next one.